finally we get to do this. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. You guys have commented on the videos a lot, asked these questions. You got to see our layout, our interior design. You have a full picture of what that's going to look like. So now we actually have a chance to talk about our vital equipment. Well, first of all, before we start diving into the equipment, let's talk about our boat and it being a full US spec boat. What does it actually mean? It means that our boat is built to US electric specifications, meaning 60 hertz instead of 50 and 120 outlets instead of 240 outlets, which you would have on a European boat. What are the challenges that it creates for a builder that's building in Turkey. In Europe, yeah. A lot of appliances, for example, if you purchase them in Europe, you will not be able to select a US electric specification. It needs to be purchased in the United States or you need to find a supplier who can actually you can pl you can place a per the you can still needs to be purchased in the United States. So it still needs to come from US, yeah. Unless there's an a, there's a supplier which can ship directly from a European manufacturer with the US specifications. So is it just appliances? No, also some of the water pumps, for example, some of the other equipment which is high voltage, not the low voltage equipment because there it doesn't really matter. It's, it depends just if you have a 12 volt, 24 volt system on board, but all the high voltage equipment, it will only run through the proper hertz and voltage. So in this episode, we actually have time to tell you guys what type of equipment we're going to have and why we've chosen the specific brands. As you, I'm sure, aware, we have so much experience being on so many different boats. We had a lot of options and uh, it created also challenges because we really had to dive deep and really, really had to think which equipment, which brand, why, why are they good? Why would that not be good for us? And so we went through huge soul searching, technical searching and came out on the other side with these brands selected. Okay, so let's uh, dive into it. Where do we start? When we decided to build this boat, we went through a list of what equipment was really vital and important to us. I mean, it was an extensive list, of course, everything seems important, but then you really, we really had to cut it down and be like, okay, what is really, really vital? We want to make it very clear, none of this equipment came free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're paying for all of this equipment. Of course, we're getting a small marketing discount, but we're not getting the equipment for free. I know there's sometimes these comments was like, oh, your whole boat is sponsored. No, it's not, we're actually paying a lot of money for it. Lots of companies reached out to us, wanted to give us their equipment for free, which we turned down. We really wanted to pick the equipment we believe in having on our boat. We did create partnerships with certain companies that we're going to be mentioning and working really closely with. Some of it is for educational purposes because we want to make sure that we can show you guys what's important, what to look for and why we chose these specific brands. It wasn't because we got offered a discount. We technically could have gotten a discount anywhere. But we reached <laughs> out to the companies we, we went, really wanted to work with. We went to the companies. We told them we're interested in working with you. Of course, there's going to be a marketing exposure. Of course, based on that, we've created partnerships. But the main reason is we've chosen them we went to them so we can actually dive in deeper and show you guys yes. why we think they are worth working with. So with that being said, without I think further ado, <laughs> we should start with the first, we kind of like put it into blocks to separate it out a little bit. And the first block is the crucial equipment of, I call it well, live, live aboard crucial equipment, living crucial equipment. Yes, that includes the water maker, that includes the air condition, and the Shit. hats, <laughs> hat and black water and gray water treatment. <laughs> exactly. The three main things we identified and we decided that we want to focus on. Uh, these are the things that always break. I feel like, you know, but, uh, probably still going to break at some point. They, but, yeah, uh, the, the people go like, this is a boat. This is going to happen. It's always air conditioning breaking. Something goes on with the toilets. Something goes on with the pumps and something goes on with the water maker. Three main things. So it was, it was really important to so, us to go with the brands that we could trust and if and when they break. The warranty to deal with was easy and the company was really, really good to deal with on the warranty. One of our agendas was to find companies which are based in US 
So we have a direct contact, we have an easy way to communicate, like Victoria said, if there is a warranty issue, which can always happen, of course. Um, we have a, a phone number we can call in the US, and not somewhere on the other end of the world. Somebody will pick up, somebody can talk to us in English, proper explain what needs to be done. If something is really critical and the boat is in the Caribbean, it's easy to get parts to because it's based in the US. Exactly. Built in the US primarily, all the parts are here, it's easy to get things. So this was a huge decision factor. So we went out there and we really looked for US based companies. So we will have very, very detailed videos about each of these individual companies um, where we're actually going and visiting the manufacturing facility, visiting the, the, the headquarters, give you a little bit the behind the scenes tour of how they make it. Oh, big behind the scenes. Or and maybe a big behind the scenes tour. But in this video, we want to just tell you guys what it will be and what do we have. And then the detailed description will be in future videos. What did we choose for our Air conditioning. Air conditioning. So we learned a lot um, on in this process of finding a the right lot. company. I'm super stoked that we actually found a company which is giving seven years of warranty. Can we give that away already? Or Absolutely. Not okay. Give seven, I mean, there was a huge reason why we seven went with them. years of warranty. All the salt water exposed parts, like the pipes and so on, are titanium. It's pretty amazing. I think it's pretty cool. Company is based right here in Fort Lauderdale in South Florida. Yeah. It's made right here. It's already... And the company is? The company is Acquire. Boom. Yes. Okay. Partnership number one. Yeah. Okay. Well, KRA was partnership. KRA okay. partnership. sound system was number one that you guys know about. And sore subject, this whole sound system it's is not a sore such subject a sore at all. subject. When Part I look at our bank account, it's a sore subject. Partnership. Partnership. <laughs> Part Did you just psh me? Partnership number two. Speaking of partnerships, he just pshed his partner. Partnership number two is. Okay, which one do you want to be? What about you? Go ahead. The water is really important. Our water maker system. Yeah. Actually, we have two water makers. Okay. Don't give it away yet. We will dive into it fully. We'll dive into that yet. But we what, will. What we made decided. us choose this specific company? Um, well, I've worked with this company before together. Um, they actually used to be my neighbor, business neighbor in California until they moved to the bigger facility and until left they got, us in the dust. They got bigger. Yeah, got bigger. <laughs> it's an American company and um, they have a fantastic reputation with their equipment in the water maker world. So we uh, since have seen it on more and more boats. Mm -hmm. We've gotten some feedback and um, seems like it was definitely the right decision. It's always nice to hear it from other owners, from other uh, shipyards when they tell you that they use it and they say, well, you know, this did break, but they were fantastic in their aftercare, aftercare and their warranty. So those are the things we're looking for. And that's what made us choose Blue Water Watermakers. There you go. So that's the next partnership. We will show you guys all about it and talk about watermakers. I know a lot of you are very interested in learning more how to choose the right watermaker. What are you looking for? We will actually have two, as Rico said. So, um, and, and we're going to dive they, into this more in detail. Yeah, they're not not exactly the same. Nope. They're different for a reason. So we will we will dive in and give you guys a whole thought process behind that. Exactly. All right, next one. Next one. What's the next one? In the same category? The shape. Yeah, black, black water. <laughs> <laughs> so then our partnership number three uh, really of the crucial equipment, important. I mean, it's all crucial equipment, but yes. of the um, livable living equipment. I mean, or if no, you, you build a this? house, right? I don't think you necessarily think that your toilets are going to be a vital thing that you choose for the house. Like, well, they're vital, but... They're very vital, but you don't, I don't think people think of it this way. No. It's not as important. You kind of go for the looks and you know what you think is going to look nice and fit into the space and that's kind of where your research ends correct me if i'm wrong correct. i'm not talking about sewage piping and all that so i'm just talking us. toilet toilets on the boats are always a sore subject <laughs> and i just feel like if we can tackle these important basic things and nail getting a brand or a company that is really easy then this is a huge part of an everyday life that's just handled. We were totally on the same page about this. There was not really fighting. We were like, this is the direction we're going. These are the important things. For us, functionality and reliability was a huge, huge, huge 
aspect of yes. this, as well as a treatment system where we can treat the Greg, the the, the Greg, the Greg water, the Greg water. If you for, for stop it for some of you who don't know what Greg water is. Greg water is a mixture between gray and black water. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. It's just me being just too made it up. little, little <laughs> stupid to talk. Um, so we, for us, it was really important to have a gray water and black water treating option on our boat. Yes. Being a real true explorer yacht, make it very simple. Out of our, out of our toilets, we will be able to dump out clean water. Yep. And we dive into this more in detail also you know, we've visited the facility, which happens to be here in Florida as well. Yes, it's also a Florida-based company, which is fantastic, with great reputation. And the company being? Oh, we didn't say the name yet. No. It is Headhunter. Boom! Okay. okay. So that covers our living vital equipment. Correct. Okay. So what would be the other equipment? Uh, we're going to dive into electrical and electronics. And yard management. All right, first, before we dive into the electric and electronics, real mm -hmm. quick, I wanted to tell you that we do have a Christmas collection on our Shop Naughty store. If you guys are looking for some cool, naughty Christmas gifts, definitely check out our store. We have lots of really cool items that are, some are for guys, for girls, some are completely across the board, like hats and cups and wine tumblers and water bottles and beach towels these cute little sweaters and like just i don't know our lots of stuff oh 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 big one we just dropped our limited edition calendar naughty calendar you guys have been asking us for it and we just launched it it's a limited edition there are not that many of them but we'll sort out sell out really quick go check it out shopnaughty.com anything you'd like to add it's limited to 2024 no <laughs> It's not that many. I think you only made like 300. Oh, so okay. it's it. not that many. So get yours. It will definitely sell out in December. And uh, anything else that you like? I mean, what everything he's wearing is on the store as well. Yep. So full displacement hat, true for Titus t shirt. Lots and of lots cool of stuff. Lots of tons of designs. So just go on the website, shopnaughty.com, just browse through. Um, just, you know, just check it out. Get your Christmas gifts and uh, enjoy. Exactly. So back to electrical system on board, the yacht management system and our electronics. Oh, you we want go. me to be part of <laughs> Okay. I feel like it's all Rico. On our old boat, we would dock, I would tie initial lines, and then Rico would get on a dock and he would half the time retie the lines that I tied because he wasn't to his liking. But then I would go and I would turn the boat off. I would turn the engines off, I would turn the batteries off, I would do all of that. And I realized like, I'm not gonna be able to do this with this boat unless I actually get, get a little more familiar and understand the system because it's just so different and so much more complicated. And instead of being afraid of it and just constantly just letting him do it, I should probably learn and try to understand how this actually works. So let's start with the electrical system on board. Let's do it. Oh boy. But without diving too much into it. Yes. Well, what is it? Okay. Well, we have to dive in a little. Okay. We have to dive in a little. It was a huge push from our side to make sure that this boat is as, how do I say this? Well, as well. autonomous as we could make it at okay. this point. Yes. With having been able to run full charters on board with 12 people on board at the time, eight guests, four crew, lots of air conditioned units in the Caribbean. It's, it's, well, it's a lot. Cooking, yeah. refrigeration, Let's freezers, just say, you get it. Uh, hybrid was not really an option for our size of a boat. Correct. But we did put in a lot of different things in and a lot of thought into being able to run this board, boat board, to this run boat. this this yacht with the guests on board. With AC on. With AC on without running a generator 24 seven. Correct. So not to dive too crazily deep into it, but we will have solar on board. We will have a system on board with the large lithium ion house bank and large inverters to invert the power into high voltage for all our systems. Getting into the details, obviously in a different video. And the company we're working with is? Victron. Victron Energy, exactly. It was very interesting. We approached them saying, hey, we're not interested in you as giving us, you know, free equipment or anything. We fully understand that you guys get 
probably approached all the time. They said, oh my God, you guys, we get approached like 20 times a day, getting, you know, smaller sailing channels are asking us if we can get batteries, if we can get this. They just said like, we're not interested in that. And we said, we're not interested in that either. What we are interested in is creating a partnerships that we actually understand the system and we can take this information and this knowledge to our viewers exactly. and really explain to them what it takes to run a boat like this, not a sailing boat for four people, you know, run a boat with 12 people on board. Two, two chillers for air conditioning. We have a fairly large energy, con energy consumption in the hotel. Two washer and dryers. Yeah, in, in hotel operation, we will actually consume quite a bit of energy, um, but we wanted to be able to still use a large house bank and have everything inverted. And I think that's fairly unique on this size vessel. I would say it's fair to say, because when we actually explain to them what kind of boat we're building and what, what kind of capabilities we want out of it, they said, we're actually very interested. So make long story short, we're actually uh, about to go on the trip and dive into this whole Victron thing and talk to one of their top experts on what it actually means to do this properly. Because and then we can show and share also some diagrams and you actually will understand um, what it really takes to create that much power from a battery. I'm actually excited because I feel like that's one of the departments I'm not very strong in. We said and had a chat with Nikki and Jason from The Winds and I felt like Nikki was just like, so well aware of all these things. And well, because they have a very similar system, yeah. a little bit smaller, but very similar system. Everything is inverted. Um, all the high voltage is getting created from low voltage batteries. Yeah. So Rico has always been a big fan of Victron, had great experience working with them on the yacht management yeah. side. It was part of the reason why it went this way. There are a few other reasons, there are class reasons and stuff. We'll dive into this deeper, but long story short, we're excited about this one because I think we will get to learn and you'll get to learn with us on what, what it actually entails. So the next partnership is Huge with... Huge thing. <laughs> which one are we gonna start with? The yacht management system. Oh, okay, sure. The really? yacht management system. Okay. No, yeah. start, no? Start, okay. Start, no. The electronics. Let's start with electronics. The yes. biggie. When it comes to electronics, I of course have my favorites and my not so favorites. Not gonna put this here on YouTube, but if you're really interested and wanna get my personal opinion, we do have the opportunity to talk more candid on Patreon and communicate with you guys. So wanna check it out, check out Patreon and um, sign up there. Big, big, big. Well, we, it was not really a choice necessarily. The boat was specced to have Furuno. Furuno. Shipyard basically said, hey, we built this boat we, as a commercial boat where Furuno is the trusted company. And Rico and I said like, well, we've certainly seen Furuno on board of boats we've been on board of, we've worked with it, but I would, we wouldn't call ourselves an experts on Furuno electronics. No. So we kind of said then we really need to know this well. We need to understand Correct. what we're working with. So we reached out to Furuno. We also will actually fly out to the headquarters. That's going to be a whole separate episode. Next and week. We'll, we'll dive into our equipment, what we will have on board. There will be some new developments, some new releases of new equipment coming in the future. Can't talk about it not yet. Such a perfect timing. We just got so lucky and one of the things you know about like silver lining that happens is the boat delay, the build delay that we had is actually allowed us to get this new version version of electronics, which Furuno is extremely excited about. I think this is going to be a bit of a game changer for them on yeah. the um, general market. You know, any super yacht we st step on board of, it's all Furuno, really. I would say 95% of the time, yeah. it's Furuno. So they're dominating that side of the market, but for on sure. the smaller boats and smaller yachts, uh, you know, it's, it's not like that. So I think it will be huge game changer for them, this new uh, models that are coming out and we get to have it. So we are really excited. And that silver lining is something we've been kind of uh, coming ourselves with because if the boat was delivered exactly where the initial delivery date was, this wouldn't have happened. And then the yacht management system is a last one of this block is um, really excited about because we didn't think <laughs> that on our size of our vessel, I mean, again, stepping on all the super yachts, it's on there. It's Furuno, 
and burning. In partnership. And we still can't agree on how that's pronounced because... So it's burning because it's an, it's an umlaut, it's a O with the two dots on top. So it happens in American or German. American or English spell, spelling would be O-E, but it's pronounced U. Er. So it's burning. There's no O uh in English. There's, uh, we don't have an O. There's, uh. uh. There's an O uh right now. What is an O uh in English? So it's a German company Boning. and they do uh, yacht management systems and yacht alarm systems. Yeah, auto, I mean, the, the, the whole huge package. Anytime you guys watch the tour of us being on board of a super yacht with like a real ridiculously cool integrated helm with like slick yeah. everything and us just owing and owing, ow, owing and what is it? Owing? Owing. Owing and owing <laughs> over a helm. It's always been burning. Yeah. So we didn't expect that, th that this could happen and we're really excited. Very excited actually, yeah. So, so we will have our tank monitoring, I mean, we won't dive into this, but the yacht management system will be burning in cooperation or integrated also with the electronics from Furuno, integrated with, well, I don't want to give everything away. Don't give it away, but, but it, they work together all the time, these two brands, they, because they create this incredible helms for so many boats. Yeah. So it's it's not a first time that, you know, that they're working together, that this isn't just for us. This is actually quite normal for them. It feels a bit organic, but on our size for them, but on our size of a vessel, it's not usually what happens. It's not common. I mean, yeah. I, I've never been on a, Honestly, I've never been on an 80 footer which had a burn, burning um, management system on board. It really starts to feel like our boat is this mini super, super yacht. yacht. And bur like burning Furuno thing just uh, completely solidified that. So I can't wait for the first boat show actually entertaining some people on board and uh, showing, giving people a tour and then um, being like, okay, like this is, what is this? That's, yeah. Is it like a cruise ship? <laughs> he is so freaking excited about these slick burning helms. As we were talking to the guys from Burning, he was like asking all these questions. What about this? And then, you know, on this boat, we saw that. And that... so it's cute. I think it's going to be the best looking bearing helm under 24 meters for sure. I'm sorry for everybody else who's coming after us on the smaller, smaller boats as uh, bearing calls us under 24 meters. You guys are so screwed because this is going to be one pretty helm and this is definitely not a standard. So there's a few more things that we, we might have left out that we're not um, quite ready yet to present. One of them is a security system on board, a yep. separate security system, not a monitoring um, system. Sorry. Am I boring you? <sighs> I need a coffee Okay, we'll something. end this quickly. Victoria felt very strongly to have something on board which can alarm us if there's someone not invited stepping on board so that was uh, definitely something i thought like okay no no big deal you know you can always lock the doors at night and done but um, now looking into it i kind of feel like it's actually a good thing to have i obviously don't want to give anything away away but um there are some cool features there where i'm thinking like i could actually even use that for a party that question came up a lot people are asking yes. us a lot about what security we'll have on board. We will dive into that. I think we finally narrowed down on a company we would like to use. And then we still have to talk about all the toys and extras we're gonna get for the boat as well, which we haven't even scratched on. Another yeah. thing we're gonna talk about is connectivity, which oh, is yeah, its own right. separate thing, which we also have a really cool partnership that we've been working on uh, with pointing antennas. So right. we'll chat about that as well and also our you know internet and all of that so that will be a separate episode so there's a lot of cool stuff coming at you guys i hope you're prepared we're we're gonna move forward with all of that and in between we'll have the shipyard updates but i hope you're excited because this is gonna get even more geeky and mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we can keep it interesting for for those that are not as geeky but i'm um, sorry this is gonna get pretty pretty darn geeky i think but it's cool cool stuff it's yeah. like how it's made kind of thing how it's made geeky. yeah all righty See you guys later. Shopnaughty.com. Yeah, check out the shop. Christmas is coming. Bye. Bye.